welcome back to this week's installment of Flex Capital. This week we'll be talking about SBA loans and general bank rules. Uh, why an SBA loan will be a little bit of it, but let's look at the past a little bit. About uh, nine years ago, 2010, less than 9% of SBA applications were actually approved. Now fast forward to about halfway here, 2015, 2016, uh, we were up to about 20%, 21% respectively. So we went from less than one in 10 to right at one in five. Today's market, we're a little over one in four. What I'm talking about here is as the SBA has evolved and we've moved to a different station in the economy, we're getting a little better at how this is happening. Why? Because the lenders that actually perform SBA loans are better. This is not your everyday brick and mortar bank. This is specialized lenders. So an average SBA, if you go to your bank, pick any brick and mortar bank, and you want to do an application for a loan, you have to fit in their wheelhouse. If you don't fit in their wheelhouse, they're going to slow walk this. Now they're going to slow walk it anyway because they don't really want to lend a lot of money. They're a depository business. I'm not trying to talk bad about them. It's just the way they're structured. So um, a typical SBA loan in uh, personal banking, brick and mortar banking is a four to six month process. And Flex Capital and with other lenders or brokers such as us, there are fast track solutions. We can often get a, an SBA loan uh, from start to finish in 45 to 60 days. So quite fast. Uh, if there's no hiccups, obviously, uh, no more government shutdowns, things like that. But we're even able to process some of these SBA loans. If we know they meet the criteria, we can still get them done. Now the government's back in business, but the threat's always there. So why an SBA loan? Why would you want an SBA loan? SBA loans are scary to some people. They're also the cream of the crop to other people. Why would you want it? Well, oftentimes in a, in a regular loan, you're going to need to come up with 30, 35, or 40 percent of the amount you're looking to borrow as your equity uh, initiative. In an SBA loan, I can actually uh, get an SBA loan to happen with as little as 10 percent. Don't try to squeeze me for the whole thing. It's not going to happen. Uh, that said, if 40% of the rest is uh, secured by the government and 50% by the lending institution, the lending institution will be the party lending all of the money. But if the loan fails, the government is guaranteeing 40% of it. You put in 50%, the bank's in good shape. They've probably got a good business yet or real estate that they can do. Now, some of the other aspects on an SBA loan is that many SBA loans or parties will, will run a fixed rate for 10 to 15 years, a very aggressive fixed rate. I'm actually capable of getting up to 25 years on a fixed rate that competes with the rates of a 10 to 15 year loan, depending on the property, depending on the business. So don't expect a miracle every time. You won't always want to go with SBA. We're going to look, we're going to go through the paperwork. We're going to investigate the, uh, the setup, determine whether it's right for an SBA loan or whether we need to go with an alternative source. So again, that wraps it up for today. I do try to keep these short, but this is Michael Higgins with Flex Capital. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our page. We'll be back with more information on a regular basis.